it's time for the body politic to truly represent America. I was awestruck, but that was the first time that I thought about registering to vote. I stand before you today as a candidate for the Democratic nomination for the presidency of the United States of America. Who is this? She's running for what? I said, oh, she got to be crazy. You know, I said, I got to beat her. Spread the word, one another, it's the next thing you ain't heard. For the first time in the history of this nation, a person of color and a woman at that is running for the highest office of this land. This was a period when black women were finding their voices in unprecedented ways. There's another kind of individualism and sense of liberation. We cannot continue to take things as they are. When we see around us that government is not responsive to certain segments of the population. There was a grassroots movement. People who had never participated in political thought and political ideas were now doing it. She was willing to take on the white establishment on the issues of the Vietnam War, on Head Start. She was out there fighting on every single issue. I didn't have many signs that indicated I'd be doing the right thing, really. Frederick Douglass said something that she often quoted. Power concedes nothing without demands, without struggles. What was her motives? It was the struggle. Whether you got 9% or 1% of the national vote, Shirley's candidacy said, I'm not demanding to get in. I'm asserting my right to be here, and I am in. That's powerful. I have never, ever had that kind of impact on me, not as a woman, not as African-American, not as a mother, not as an educator, but as a human being.